Welcome to 60 Second Civics, the daily podcast of the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. We are joined today by actress and educator Vicki Ross Norris. Welcome to the show, Vicki. Thank you, Mark. Dyer and Dyer said the Supreme Court has on many different occasions pointed out that the 14th Amendment consists of guarantee that each person be accorded certain fundamental rights, which include life. Throughout history, artists have made it their civic duty to promote social change. The world-renowned actor, producer, and civil rights activist Robert Hooks told me that Dr. King believed that various forms of art were part of the grassroots civil rights movement. And as such, a 23-year-old, Billie Holiday, sang the poem turned into song, Strange Fruit. For 20 years, Billie Holiday sang Strange Fruit, which brought attention to the unfair and unconstitutional lynchings of African-American men and women. Strange Fruit symbolically represents the lynched bodies of African-American men and women. Billie Holiday's song was an expression of political protest and was transformed into a work of art for millions to hear. In 2022, over 100 years after the first attempt, the United States Congress passed the Emmett Till anti-lynching bill, which makes lynching a federal hate crime. The bill was named after the 14-year-old Chicago boy who was killed while visiting family in Mississippi in 1955. Thank you so much, Dr. Ross Norris. That's all for today's podcast, 60 Second Civics, where civic education only takes a minute.